I'm recording this on May 10th, 2024. Exactly one month ago, April 10th, marked my three years on T. This is definitely the best I've felt since starting hormones. I've had kind of a winding health journey to get here, but I'm finally feeling like I'm in a really good place, uh, both physically and emotionally. I've been keeping a little notebook since I started T, and I'm really glad I've been doing that because it's good to remember where I started and what I've been through. My very first entry on April 10th, 2021 reads, few hours after first dose, nausea, dizziness, headache that lasted all day, sore arm at application site. On the next day, I wrote, woke up hungry and with more energy than I've had in a while. Can tea start working that fast? Felt terribly sick yesterday, a little nervous to take dose today. Update, no sickness today. On the 12th, I wrote, hungry again this morning. Today, my whole close family knows I'm on tea. I feel more excited to see them and less anxious because I'm completely open with them now. It makes me excited to see what my future relationship with my family will be like. Everyone's been so supportive, even if they don't understand fully, which is all I can ask for and all I wanted. I've been feeling less angry and irritable lately. Possible side effect of feeling more comfortable with where I'm heading. Back then, one of the biggest emotions I was feeling was fear. I was really scared to start tea because I didn't know where it would lead me. I had a feeling that I would start feeling better, but the place that I'm in now, the feelings I have now are ones I never could have dreamt up. I was super terrified before starting and even shortly after starting, but I'm a big believer in jumping directly into things that scare you and oftentimes that's the best path forward. I think stability is a really good word to describe where I'm at now. The first two years were kind of a whirlwind on tea, but I do feel like this last year I've kind of settled into myself a lot more and I've been writing in my notebook a little bit less, but there are still things that are changing. I've noticed that I've been extra emotional lately and I really love it. I've heard people say that they stopped being able to cry after starting tea and I'm always a little bit confused and saddened by that. I'm so grateful to have all of my feelings and feel them so deeply. Since tea, I've only gotten more in touch with my emotions. I'm so much better at understanding what I'm feeling and being able to talk about it and being honest uh, with myself and with other people. I've also been feeling super open-hearted lately and really just extra loving and open to possibilities. I've heard a lot of people talk about their sexuality changing on tea, and I think that's sort of happening for me. Though I don't know if changing is the right word or I'm just becoming more comfortable with it. I've always just identified as queer, but I think maybe the word bisexual is feeling right also. I've been really grateful to have people in my life that I can talk to about this and that help me see how expansive love and gender and sexuality can be. And I am looking forward to exploring that a little bit when the time is right. Something else big that happened, I got my new ID with my new name and my gender marker updated. All of it was so much easier than I thought it was gonna be and that is almost entirely because of Transformative Justice, uh, this cool organization in Chicago that helps with name change mobilization. They're the best advocates, and I had someone physically go with me to the DMV to uh, get my license updated, and like they walked me through all my paperwork and was able to help me out with everything, and um, I feel so grateful for them and really grateful to be in Chicago right now because I know that not everyone has these resources and access to uh, organizations that really, really have your back. At first, getting my new ID was more of just a logistics thing for me. I wasn't really expecting to feel much different once I got it, but getting it in the mail and actually seeing it physically, I, I felt 
very euphoric and relieved and um, yeah, just much better than I expected to feel. I looked at all of my old IDs over the years and I don't normally like looking at pictures of me from those years, but I'm glad I kept them because it was a really good reminder of how far I've come. I really don't even feel like the same person in old pictures, at least ones from my teenage years. I see a lot of myself in childhood pictures, but I have a large gap from when I was a teenager where I just, I look at old photographs and I don't recognize myself and I don't remember being in my body then. And I, th I think that's the greatest gift that testosterone has given me um, and allowing myself to be honest about my gender has given me is being able to embody myself and feel present with myself in a way that I haven't felt since childhood. I think in a big way I really knew who I was as a kid and was able to articulate things about my gender that maybe I didn't really understand back then, but that I sort of lost track of in my later years and didn't really pick up on again until um, my 20s or so. But uh, allowing myself to circle back to those feelings and be really honest with myself was a total life changer and T has just opened up my ability to live more comfortably and more honestly. Some recent physical changes that have been happening. I've been getting some new facial hair um, up closer to my lips here, uh, it's darkening. The hair on my stomach is still darkening and spreading a lot. It's spreading out around my belly button, out to the sides of my abdomen, close to where I do my tee shots. And then I have a line of darkening hairs that goes almost all the way up to my sternum at this point. I have more darkening hairs around my nipples and in that area, which I don't really love them right now. I have never really wanted chest hair. I don't really want chest hair. I still don't like those hairs, but I know it'll be okay. There were quite a few things that I didn't want before starting tea, like my arm hair getting darker, for instance, but now I really love my arm hair, so I'm imagining that my chest hair will probably go a similar way. I was also thinking that I might feel better about my chest hair if I had top surgery, um, but that to me still isn't something that I've really seriously been, been considering. It doesn't feel urgent. And so I'm still kind of letting that go for now, but will continue to pay attention to how I'm feeling and consider it more seriously um, in the future if it feels more right later. My facial hair now is from about a week, maybe a little bit more of not shaving. It grows really fast. I like it a lot. I kind of can't wait for my upper lip hairs to get a little bit darker, which is kind of crazy to say because facial hair was another thing that I wasn't really sure I would like earlier on, and like darkening hairs especially, and so it's cool to have changes and come to like them and be able to embrace them and uh, yeah, be excited about change instead of scared of it. And I think that's kind of the note I want to end on here is the more you can be excited about change, the better, uh, because change is never going to stop. And um, everyone changes all of the time. Um, it's, it's kind of unrealistic and unhealthy to uh, expect things not to change and also to like feel in control of things. One of the reasons why I was so scared to start tea was because I knew I was gonna change, but I didn't know how, I didn't know what that change would look like. And just the concept of change and uh, that feeling so unknown was a lot. It was, it was overwhelming. But I'm so, so glad I didn't let that fear stop me from going forward. A lot of times change means loss, but change also means growth. And growth wouldn't happen without loss. And so I, I try to keep that in mind a lot too, 
is that when things are growing and changing, it maybe feels uncomfortable, it maybe feels a little bit scary, but it's because you're growing and growing into something better and more true. So embracing change and embracing loss are such huge parts of life and embracing fear too. Really, sometimes the best path forward is just leaning directly into what scares you the most. Um, and so if, if you find yourself being scared of something, that's okay. Take note of that and pay attention to it and see where it can lead you.